This is the histological appearance of a normal parathyroid gland. The parathyroid glands secrete parathormone. This regulates calcium metabolism. It stimulates resorption of bone by osteoclasts to liberate calcium into the bloodstream and stimulates renal tubules to resorb calcium ions from urine. Hyperparathyroidism is classified as primary, secondary and tertiary. In primary and tertiary hyperparathyroidism, there is increased PTH production causing bone erosion, brown tumours, bone pain and fractures. Another feature of hyperparathyroidism is hypercalcemia. Symptoms of hypercalcemia include constipation, nausea and vomiting, tiredness, thirst and polyuria, peptic ulcer, pancreatitis, gallstones and kidney stones, and muscle weakness and hypotonia. Approximately 1 in a 1,000 people are affected by primary hyperparathyroidism. Patients are typically postmenopausal women. The increased PTH secretion in primary hyperparathyroidism is due to a parathyroid adenoma in approximately 80% of cases and less frequently in parathyroid hyperplasia that is up to approximately 20% of cases. Rarely parathyroid carcinoma may cause increased PTH secretion. Primary hyperparathyroidism may present with hypercalcemia. This parathyroid shows features of hyperplasia. This is the gross appearance of a parathyroid adenoma. This is the histological appearance of a parathyroid adenoma. Secondary hyperparathyroidism is increased PTH production due to hypocalcemia and this is usually due to chronic renal failure. Tertiary hyperparathyroidism follows long-standing secondary hyperparathyroidism resulting in the formation of an autonomous hypersecreting parathyroid adenoma. Hypoparathyroidism is caused by reduced PTH secretion. This may be due to surgical removal of the parathyroids, damage due to radiotherapy, loss of blood supply to the parathyroids, autoimmune conditions, or the condition may be congenital, for example in de George syndrome. The symptoms of hypoparathyroidism are due to the hypocalcemia as a result of decreased PTH production. Symptoms include neuromuscular irritability and cramps, convulsions, paresthesia, cardiac arrhythmias, psychiatric symptoms and cataracts. In pseudo-hypoparathyroidism, the PTH levels are either normal or raised. It is caused by end organ resistance to PTH and many patients have Albright's hereditary osteodystrophy. The ridiculously termed pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism occurs in patients with Albright's hereditary osteodystrophy where there is no end organ resistance and the PTH levels are normal.